Hi everybody from Proto Software. Uh, my name is Çağlar and I am working as a sales engineer in Proto Software. I hope everybody is okay and healthy during this unfortunate pandemic outbreak. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to merge models in Proto Structure. If we have a look at today's content, uh, we'll be merging two different models. We'll be model uh, we'll, we'll model and analyze a combined foundation. Uh, we are going to do rebar design through strips and we'll be merging stories from a different project. Uh, we have four different uh, merging options. I will be uh, explaining these uh, in the, during the demonstration. Uh, we will be working on these two blocks today. Block A and Block B will be merging these two blocks for combined foundation design, and we'll we will be uh, will be importing Block B to Block A for uh, story import. Uh, you can also ask your questions through email to us at global support at protosoftware.com. And now. Uh, we are okay now and we can start our live demonstration. Uh, as you know, this is our uh, proto, structure, uh, proto structure model. This is block B, as I have mentioned. What we're going, going to do is we are going to merge this model to uh, block A. And first of all, what I'm I will have to do a, a quick analysis of this building. Uh, I will quickly generate loads and I will hit start button for uh, for analysis. Uh, you you will have to you will have to save foundation column results uh, in this case and. I will run the analysis again. It is going to take a few seconds. Don't forget to activate this option uh, if you're going to do uh, a combined model. I'm going to run the uh, analysis again. And this time I will select it and run another analysis. At this stage, it is now uh, saving the project. Uh, at this stage, uh, protostructure doing the analysis, protostructure automatically creates the analysis model from the physical structural BIM model. All the uh, vertical and lateral loads are calculated and finite, elements, uh, finite element analysis is performed simultaneously for all load cases. Uh, we are using much faster engine now, uh, which can handle uh, bigger buildings much uh, much faster during analysis. And you can see the analysis process here. It will just take a couple of seconds to finish the analysis. Yes, our analysis is finalized. And it will, let's just skip this summary. I will close this down. And it will give you a heads up that uh, all results are transferred to the foundation level, uh, are saved. And I'm just going to skip this quickly. Now we can, uh, we can open up our uh, block A, which 
uh, we are going to merge with a block B with. And I'm going to put it in uh, story zero, which uh, where we are going to model our foundation. Uh, now that we finished our analysis, I have uh, this uh, analysis is done before for this building. I'll recheck it. Yes, it is done. This time, if you're uh, if you're an analog analyzing this building, you don't have to activate this option because you're going to call block B to block A in this option. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, model merging editor. As I have said, we have four different options to uh, import a uh, model. Firstly, uh, an access system uh, can be imported from another project. Uh, secondly, you can import uh, foundation columns, which columns will not be part of the analysis model. This is mostly used for uh, combined foundation design. You can also import a complete project, which all the members will be considered and included in the uh, analysis model. And lastly, selected stories can be imported from a different project uh, as long as their access system is identical. In this case, I'm going to select a, uh, importing a complete project, and I'm going to select uh, what project you want to import, which is uh, block B, uh, which I just did the uh, analysis for. And as soon as you hit load model, you can see uh, you can see the insertion options. We have two options for insertion of uh, the emerged model. You can either drag by two points. You can click here and click here, for example, to uh, locate your uh, block B. Or you can type in distances here. In this case, I'm going to type in 16 meters in X direction. I'm not going to change Y direction. And when I hit move model, you can see the uh, block B will appear here. Uh, the columns will appear here to give you idea where where uh, Block B is going to be located. Also, I will put my character here, block character, which is block B. As soon as you we finish it, as you can see here, our buildings are merged. Okay. So uh, now we finished our merge. Let's uh, proceed with combined foundation uh, design. And firstly, I will go ahead and do the modeling. I'm going to do a quick model. Uh, this is pretty easy to model graph foundation. And I'm going to select 50 centimeters for uh, foundation thickness. Uh, now, before we go to analysis, I would like to uh, show you some parameters about uh, graph foundation analysis. Well, that we go here foundation you can see soil stress is a little bit soil stress here you can pick up some great through here and if you're okay with it just close it down and also we can go to slab design settings to adjust some settings for your design for example here you can put your uh, parameters uh, required parameters you can uh, you, you you can actually adjust your bar spacings minimum and maximum you can put in maybe a 12 millimeter bar for minimum size and if you're okay with it, just keep going with the uh, analysis now let's uh, cut some strips to our rough foundation i'm going to select finite element strips and i'll go to select fixed strip here and I would like to choose integral strip, and I will cut a strip to here in a direction just like this. I can come here and uh, determine my borders for my strip, and here and also here I will determine my borders, and I would like to cut another strip to here maybe, and again I will determine my borders just like this and if you're happy with it you can proceed with your foundation analysis now i'll go to uh 
finite element graph foundation in analysis uh, icon. Uh, our uh, analysis editor is uh, just like this. Uh, you can see foundation ball stable for each column and shear wall here. You can edit your materials for your foundation, your concrete type, your uh, rebar type, your rebar diameters, and soil type can be uh, just here. Uh, you can also include column sections in a uh, finite element model. Uh, if you would like to apply live load reduction, you can activate these options here. I'll quickly, uh, you can also uh, pick up your uh, subgrade reaction here as well. I will quickly uh, mesh my foundation and proceed with the analysis. And this, you can see the uh, location of our columns here. And I will quickly generate a model. You can uh, change uniformity factors or plate element sizes. It will adapt automatically to uh, whatever you change. I will, for example, 50 for uniformity factor. And it will change, uh, as you can see, like this here. Let's just put 75, and you can see shell sizes are being adapted just like this. In this case, I'm going to choose 1,000 for plate element size. And if you're happy with this, uh, you can just exit and wait for uh, slab analysis to be completed. And let's go to anal analysis post-processing to, uh, to uh, analyze our uh, graph foundation and investigate the uh, loads. And firstly, you can see here, as you hit the contest, you can see, uh, you can see here the uh, deformations, which is about 8.7 millimeters. Uh, and I'll go to uh, plan view to focus on better. Uh, you can select contours, as I said, and you can actually uh, come in here and choose any load cases here in ESX, uh, earthquake load in uh, minus X direction. And in this case, I'm going to select X maybe. You can come here and check bending moments and X bending moments and by uh, torsional moments. Uh, you can check your design moments. And you can have a look at the legend as well. Every time I uh, select something, legend will adapt automatically, as you can see here. Also, required steel areas can be seen in protostructure. Uh, you can tell uh, what is likely to be needed, uh, what is likely uh, the area is needed in, for example, top, bottom, and second, uh, sec second top as well in here. Also, uh, you can check user-defined contours. You can edit your contours if you like. You can see the source stresses here. This this is all editable. Uh, and also, you can uh, you can have a look at your axis. For example, uh, I will, if you would like to see uh, your diagrams for a moment and displacement for uh, X1 axis, just pick up one, uh, pick up the one you would like to investigate, and it will quickly load the results and show you the results. You can see displacement results, moment results, design moment results, and required steel area can be seen here. Uh, also, animations can be played uh, as well. Uh, if you would like to see the formations, I will play a, an animation on the loads, uh, earthquake, uh, earthquake loads uh, in X direction. You can see the uh, animation just like this. Okay. And once you're done with this, uh, you can you can now uh, you can also come here and check the uh, soil pressure as well. If you'd like to see, I will. Of the animation. You can see the soil pressure and in the legend here. Uh, the likely soil pressures will be uh, can be seen here. And once you're done with this, I will just exit. And as I hit OK, 
uh, snap strip results will be transferred to my model. This will take only a few seconds. Uh, now, uh, after, after the transfer, we'll proceed with the design, which is done automatic by uh, product structure. You can actually put, uh, you can actually cut more strips if you like, if you want to uh, make more accurate, uh, more accurate uh, analysis. You can, I just put on it too to finish the analysis quicker. You can also come here and export your model to SAP uh, if you wish to do any uh, further investigation or analysis and with SAP. Uh, now that we finished our analysis, one thing you can you you have to do to uh, design is updating steel bars, and steel bars will be updated just like here. You can see the bars given through the strips here. As I said, you can put you can cut more strips uh, along the uh, columns if you would like to see if you would like to make more accurate and more uh, more accurate uh, analysis. Okay, now at this point, uh, we can go and have a look at the uh, punching check. Uh, you can see you can see the vertical members here. Uh, you can actually go ahead and play with the uh, minimum diameters again. In, in this case, I would like to have 16 millimeter diameter. And here as well, I would like to see a 16 millimeter diameter in Y direction as well. And as soon as you hit design button, the design will be done automatically for you, just like this. And it will prepare a uh, uh, detailed results for your pointing text. And you can see, you can see uh, every single column and its values for punching checks and it looks adequate for for all of the columns, and you can investigate your uh, detailed report here. Uh, as you close it down, uh, you can also see uh, you can also see the punching areas for for the columns that are needed. And screen means it's it is passing, and for the shear walls, you can see the same as well. After this stage, you can uh, proceed to detailed drawings if you wish to, uh, if, uh, to product details by uploading product details. You can see the uh, detailed drawings in product details as well. So this is our combined foundation design for wrap foundation. You can actually uh, do any other foundation you would like. You can do singular foundation for each column. You can do strip for things. For try, uh, you can do any kind of uh, any kind of foundation design that uh, protostructure structure supports as soon as as soon as the uh, models are merged uh, just like this and as soon as the uh, column results are saved uh, during your uh, analysis okay now uh, now that we finished with the uh, foundation design I will quickly open up uh, another project and I don't want to save the changes and I'm going to load again my block number A and I would like to yeah open up block number A just like this and you can see the our block A here and what we're going to do is I'm going to insert uh, I'm going to import stories from block B to block A in this case and firstly I'm going to uh, I can uh, I can determine a uh, story number, which is which I would like to uh, be a eight story building because because I'm going to import three stories from block number A. Again, I'm going to do a model merging editor. And this time I'm going to select import stories from different building model. I can select uh, block number B, uh, which I have uh, merged the block with block number A. And as soon as you hit load model, uh, you can now type in your parameters. I would like uh, story number one, two, and three to be imports to my block number A, and my target story will be story number six, as you can see here. 
as soon as you finish uploading, just like this, uh, you can see you can see that stories are imported to block number A. You can now come here and maybe edit your beam wall loads uh, as I did here before. And let's just quickly do one and we'll add another opening. And you can now select this and copy these beam wall loads to the other beams if you wish to. I will make a uh, analysis as well of this building. Very quick analysis. Uh, I will start a quick analysis here. It will again take a couple of seconds. I would like to show you the analytical model so that you can see the uh, you can see that block B is considered during the analysis process. And basically, we'll wait a couple of seconds. You can also come and select bars if you would like to do the automatic uh, column and wall de uh, reinforcement design or beam reinforcement design. It's all up to you. In this case, I, I chose not to do. And it is saving the project and analysis will finish in a couple of seconds. And our analysis has uh, completed, and I'm going to skip this summary again, and I'm, I will open up the uh, post processor here. This is a new engine, which is much faster than before. As you can see here, block B is uh, merged with block A. Uh, I have imported stories, and you can see the uh, merging in the analysis model, just like this. And you can do uh, another, you can do another foundation design if you wish to under this. And block B will be considered again for this. And so, with these two import options, protostructure can provide faster, much faster modeling if you have larger projects and multiple engineers working in the same project, for example, a, in a high rise building, if uh, two or three engineers working in different stories, it can be merged in just a few seconds, just like I showed you. Or in a uh, large project where uh, there are more than uh, one blocks, uh, let's say three blocks, uh, each engineer can work uh, on uh, one particular block and it can be merged for combined found rough foundation design and combined uh, foundation design at any foundation you would like to do. So this is all I'm going to, uh, I, I, have, I have covered today. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, please stay tuned on our social media and don't forget to follow us to get informed about updates and new features uh, of uh, protest structure. We are releasing a brand new 2020 version uh, in, uh, in, a, in a few weeks and you can please stay tuned to uh, protest structure website and uh, social media to get updates. Uh, thank you for listening again. Uh, I wish all of you a safe and uh, safe and sound uh, days. Uh, Bye-bye.